Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. This is going to be the second installment of uh, water testing videos. I plan on doing more in the future. I want to continue doing um, an entire series of water testing videos. Not only with a PPM detector but um, for bacteria and a variety of other things. But for now we're just going to continue to test with a PPM detector to test the parts per million in a lot of the common water bottles that you find on the shelves today. Um, last week's video, or not last week's, the last video that was posted um, <clears throat> covered a variety of very popular waters, uh, Dasani, Ice Mountain, um, Smart Water, Fiji, there was a couple others in there. This week we're going to entire <clears throat> cover an entirely new um, <clears throat> group of water bottles, excuse me. We have uh, a couple of more exotic ones, one from New Zealand, one from Hawaii, um, one from the French Alps, I believe, and yeah, French Alps, and uh, one from Italy. So, and then we have Essentia and Box Water, uh, which is something I'm really curious about, as well as Propel from Gatorade. So we're going to go through, uh, all these are unopened bottles, and behind each one I do have a clear, clean glass uh, that I'll be pouring into to test with the HM Digital PPN detector, which will tell us the parts per million. Now, if you didn't watch the video beforehand, um, this scale <clears throat> tests the purity of the water, the quality of the water, and it actually comes on the back with a handy dandy little scale as far as what's considered uh, clean and what, what is considered uh, not so clean. So, um, anything uh, above 200 is considered hard water. Uh, anything above 500 is not recommended to be uh, drinkable by the EPA, and anything under 500 should be good. But from last week's video, we saw that everything was pretty much under 300, and uh, we saw a result as good as 5. So 5 is the lowest we've seen, and I'd like to see if we can beat that with one of these here. So without further ado, we're going to start with Aquapana Toscana from Italy. Um, now I've seen this in a lot of stores, but I've never actually had it, so I have no idea how it tastes. Although I gotta say, in, as far as water goes, generally speaking, uh, there's not a whole lot of a difference for me. So, but uh, let's test this one first and see what we get. So with this, all you have to do is get a little swirl, it gets the air bubbles out of, out of it. Um, it's very simple to use. You can just dip it in, let it set for a second. These, are, these come pre-calibrated, they're pretty cheap, you can get them on Amazon for a good, a good price. Okay, so this one came back as 109. That's what we're going to start with today is 109. And you don't really have to clean this out, there's not a good way to clean this out by the way. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and a real good way of drying those off and let it just by letting it air dry is really the best way of doing that. So um, <clears throat> it's not really going to affect the results. That's kind of why we swirl it around. It's not going to change our results. And if it does, it'll be by maybe one. Next up, we have Essentia. Now, I'm honestly not even too sure who bottles this. Um, looks like they are their own entity, bottled by Essentia Water LLC. Uh, their big claim is their pH level. They claim a 9.5 pH or higher. That's also something I'd like to test in the future. Uh, it's supposed to hydrate, restore, and balance. Hydration perfected. That's what they, uh, they advertise. They also advertise that it's an ionized alkaline water and that it's infused with electrolytes. So I don't think any of that has an effect on the uh, parts per million of purification of the water itself, but... Okay, so this one, get that cleaned out a little bit, came back at 49. Pretty significant difference from the Aquapana, about half. Still, both of them are well within uh, drinkable water levels and much lower than some of the ones we tested last week. Now, this Propel, if I'm doing this right, they have a pop top lid there with a seal on the front. By Gatorade. I want to say I've had this, but I don't know that I have. Wow. There's no way that's accurate. Hold on. 
Okay, so we've run into something pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> the parts per million, I'm going to show you this right now, and there's a reason for this. I didn't even look at it beforehand, but I'm glad I'm testing it um, for the first time here. This, um, so this Propel, um, you know, this says it's infused with electrolytes as well. They have salt in here and potassium, so and actually magnesium. So the PPM detector is picking up that salt, that potassium, and that magnesium, and it's really throwing off the number. So we're not going to get an accurate reading for Propel because there's other things in Propel other than just water. So we're going to move right along to the boxed water. Uh, this one I've been very curious about. Now, I'm surprised. It didn't really feel like... I mean, I felt a pop, but I thought maybe there'd be like a little pull tab in the inside. I think boxed water, their angle is that the water bottles, well, the cardboard bottles that they have are biodegradable, so they're more environmentally friendly than these plastic bottles, which don't break down the same way cardboard does over time. And I'm super, super impressed with box water. This is surprising. I wasn't expecting this at all. Um, we see that clearly, but that is uh, PPMs. Uh, last week our high was five, or low was five, and that was with smart water. Uh, boxed water just came back with two. So this is uh, darn near perfect, to say the least, as far as the purity of the water. Uh, there is nothing in this. It is just water. Clean, clean water. So we're going to move right along to the Zealand True. Now, I've actually never seen this before, but I saw it on the shelf and decided to grab it. My guess is that this is marketed like Fiji. Um, you know, the bottle is very similar. It's kind of sort of a square shape. And, uh, well, like the Fiji, island of Fiji, uh, we have New Zealand and their version of it. So, and, you know, I could be wrong about that. This could have been around for a while and just come to the shelf over here. But let's see what they've got. And it looks like it's going to come pretty close to what Fiji was. So that's good. Um, 34 PPMs. This is a, is a great number. Um, very low parts per million. And uh, let's move right along. So Hawaiian Springs Natural Artesian Water. I saw this on the shelf. Never seen it before. This is bottled in Hawaii. Uh, I've never had it. I uh, have heard that people say it's very good. Let me double check my results on that one real quick. Just curious. Okay, so yeah, we'll get 51 um, for that test. Oops. So to Evian, which is a natural spring water from the French Alps. And uh, this one has some calcium, magnesium, potassium, and silica in it. Um, I don't think that those are going to play too much of a role in the PPM levels if it's anything like this Hawaiian Springs water, which has all the same stuff in it. Um, this one has 271 PPMs. So it's the highest ranking out of the seven waters that we have here today. Uh, in fact, it ranks just almost as high as I think it was Ice Mountain last week. So I'll be uh, adding those results to this video as well so everyone has a good comparison. We're going to keep a running list of how everything ranks. But for this test this week, we have Fox Water coming in first place with a very low two. Uh, we have Aquapana and Evian bringing up the rear at a little over 100 and 262 and uh, Propel, you know, I don't think anything's going to beat Propel in terms of parts per million but uh, as I stated earlier we have some other factors coming into play there and then Essentia, Zealand and Hawaiian Springs are all essentially uh, that's not a pun on Essentia, right around the same level um, and we're going to see that a lot of the other water bottles that we test are going to fall into that bracket of anywhere between 30 and 80 ppms uh, it's, a, it's a very good bracket to be in. And then we're going to have a couple outliers, which are, you know, boxed water, smart water, coming in at 2 and 5. And then we're going to have some on the opposite end, which is going to be Avian, um, Ice Mountain, and some other ones that might test in that high or low 200 range. So, anyway, if we, I'm going to start gathering uh, some more water from uh, popular store brands. And we're going to do a comparison of 
store branded water just to see how those stack up with one another. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.